how just about every organization, it's someone's job to prepare slide decks that contain lots of informative data points. Now this process often involves writing queries and then manually adding the results into each slide. But who wants to spend all that time copying and pasting? Well, we're about to make your life a whole lot easier. In this video, we'll walk through how you can use Google Apps Scripts to automate data-driven slide development. Let's imagine you're a data analyst on the e-commerce team for a huge retailer. Each week, you're tasked with preparing Google Slides for the director to present to the broader team. The problem? This is a super time-consuming task. You're going to need to query the e-commerce data to come up with the total sales, new customers, number of orders, and repeat purchase rate. But wait, that's not it. There are more than 20 different departments and each one needs their own slide. My thumb and index fingers are hurting just thinking about all those control C and control Vs. Lucky for you, your company already has their e-commerce data living inside of BigQuery. And one of the many great things about BigQuery is the flexibility it offers in terms of interacting with your data. BigQuery has a variety of APIs, client libraries, and out-of-the-box integrations with different Google services, all of which make it easy to access your data where and when you need it. In this tutorial, we'll be using BigQuery's API as a service that's natively available in Google Apps Script. All right, ready? Let's jump in. So the first step in automating the development of these slides is to define our metrics using SQL. Let's say we'll calculate total sales for each slide by filtering our orders to a specific department on a given week then summing up the total sales of all the items ordered. Now to ensure we're consistently calculating our metrics, we can go ahead and create a user-defined function inside of BigQuery. With our function defined, we can run it anytime we need to calculate total sales, simply by feeding in a department name and week timed stamp. But what about actually pushing the results of this function into a slide? One option for programmatically developing slides is to create a template slide that we'll use for formatting. Here, I've created a pretty simple template where variables that will be programmatically pushed into our slide are surrounded by distinguishable characters, like these double curly brackets. In my template, I can control things like where on the slide these variables should be printed and the color of the text. Great, so we have our template all ready to go. Now to actually run the calculations and populate this template, we'll turn to Google Apps Script. Google Apps Script is a scripting environment for lightweight JavaScript development within the Google Workspace platform. Inside the Apps Script IDE, we're able to add Google services to our program directly through the UI. This will make interacting with the APIs much easier since there is less setup than using their HTTP interfaces. Once we've added the services we'll be using, BigQuery, Drive, and Slides, we're ready to start coding. First, we'll need to make a copy of the template slide deck to use as our weekly presentation. Next, we'll loop through each department, create a new slide, and then call this function. Zooming in a bit, you can see that this function goes into our new slide and iterates through each metric. For each metric, we'll use this helper function to call the BigQuery API and run the UDFs that we created earlier. Finally, we'll replace the string containing the curly brackets and our metric name with the result from BigQuery. When the loop completes, we'll have one slide for each department with all our templated metrics filled in appropriately. And the finishing touch, since you need this available for the director at the beginning of each week, let's go ahead and add a trigger to run the script every Monday morning. With integrations across Google services, you can deliver your data wherever and whenever the business needs it. 
Leveraging Google Apps Scripts to automate data-fueled document development opens up huge opportunities to save analysts time when it comes to quarterly business reviews or financial reporting. Ready to get started? Check out the link below to see some code samples.